Shin Virtuality back again with more Minecraft. Um, still thinking of uh, a couple of projects, and um, I thought I was going to be doing something in particular, but then I sort of uh, sidetracked, and probably for good reason. Um, we will do another little um, automated building, I guess you could say. Um, so, like, much like our last episode, we built this sugarcane automatic farm, and it's been going quite so good. You know, at least I don't have to pick it all now. Just let that run on its own. But I thought, well, what might be fun? And uh, I came across, well, a sheep, and I played around, and, well, now he's lime green. And I thought, okay, well... Maybe what I'll do is I'll create an automatic farm to get all the sheep of different colors, even as weird as this or aqua, for example, and have an automatic farm to shear their wool and place it all in a chest just for the off chance that I might need it. I don't see any reason for using um, different dyed wool, but hey, you never know. Uh, so I cleared out the land, I sort of put up a little perimeter, and we'll probably make this our sort of industrial area where we sort of do a couple of these things. Um, but we'll start with that, uh, with a sheep farm, and we'll make it a rainbow sheep farm, where it automatically shears and places their uh, wool for our convenience. Uh, and there's sort of like a little uh, thing why I'm doing this, but we'll get into that a little bit later. For now, uh, I added this chest here just to sort of dump all my materials. Uh, building block of choice that I'm going to use is the nether brick block. I kind of like it, so I'll make it in that for now, um, but building block of your choice. Um, it will be a little bit expensive. We need a dispenser for shooting out the shears whenever we need to shear the sheep, um, but it will take double that of observers and I'll show you why in a second uh, other than that like the top row is sort of like our collecting area so we'll get to that first same thing as what we did with our sugarcane farm uh, we'll just have a minecart going back and forth ready to collect anything that needed uh, some um, spruce uh, some trap doors I'm using spruce and oak and I'll show you why once we get into the building build uh, and then some oak buttons, uh, which we'll be using for corralling the sheep. Um, and this isn't even including all the glass and dyes that I'll be using as well. So this is sort of an incomplete materials list, but at least it's something to get us started. So we'll start the build off. Um, I'll show you a couple things of how I'm going to go about doing this. Uh, and... Uh, I'll probably jump around a couple of times, uh, since this is probably going to take a little bit long. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually build the building first, and then I'll start looking for sheep. Uh, once I get two sheep and start breeding them, then we can get into seeing if we can place them into the uh, building and go from there. So give me a moment and we'll start things off and I'll uh, sort of get you guys updated on how things are progressing. Okay, so the concept of this farm is a little bit simplistic. Uh, ideally, all we want to do is get a sheep into a one by one square where whenever he feeds and grows wool, an observer will see that and shear the sheep. Uh, so just to demonstrate, uh, once you have a hole in the ground, you can place your observer so that it's facing the grass block that your sheep is going to be sitting on like that. Now, the reason why we're using two observers instead of one, ideally you would just do that. Uh, you would get your dispenser. Let's just make sure it's on there. Oops. Only one dispenser is fine. Thank you. Uh, and then we'll add anything to the dispenser. It's just for testing purposes. So if we put the redstone that should be enough so any changes made to that grass block right there 
the observer will see it, send a signal to the dispenser, and Bob's your uncle, you're off and running. So because I'm on bedrock, we'll just duplicate this right beside it as I had intended. cobblestone but that's neither here nor there uh, and then we'll add another dispenser that's fine I'll tell you what we'll uh, what do we add here let's add some let's add some wooden blocks okay so, yeah, and it shot out the other stone because our tilt field went back to just normal old dirt. But if we place another redstone here, the dot changes to a string. So now, if I equip my tool, it sends a signal, but it's not sending a signal to the dispensers, which is unfortunate because it's not really we have to do one of two things either we have to space out this machine uh, each by a block so that they're able to read their own um, read their own signal or like I said what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just alter it a little bit get all our stuff back uh, and by doing that you need another dispen or another observer viewing right below once that's in place then you put on your dispensers you can fill them up with whatever so let's say oak blocks again and then when I make it's able to do the thing that it needs to do, regardless of which square it's on. So, yeah, <laughs> this is actually what we're supposed to, what what our design will work like. So, which is fine. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit more expensive because we have to now build another observer in order to get it everything sort of in place, but at least everything will be sort of compact and I don't need to spread out the farm as much as I need to. So that's the concept behind it. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll sort of get everything underway uh, and we'll be back once the rail system is in place and then once all the mechanics are also in place. So our collection system is in place, uh, much like before, just a uh, minecart with a hopper, um, going back and forth, just getting whatever gets dropped onto the ground. And we'll filter it into this box here. Uh, so we can definitely try that out quickly, just by There it goes. <laughs> Has to be on the block itself. So we can see the rail cart is doing its job. And if we head down here, yep, 
there's all our dirt. Okay, perfect. And I figure while I was down here, I figure I'd UV it up a little bit just so it wasn't just so disheveled. We'll do something with the entrance, but not quite yet. The next step will be these trap doors, and this will actually be the corral for our sheep once we're ready for them. Um, idea is you're going to place a trap door on the ground, skip one block, and then place another trap door. And then once we get to the other side, uh, we'll reverse and do the same thing. So let's get all these in. And then open them up. Alright, everything's looking good. Now, the other side. And just reverse order. So, we'll place our one there, skip one block, and then we'll place one there. Uh, the idea being that these middle ones will be sort of double thickness, uh, while the end ones don't really need to be. So, there's those two, and then we'll just keep going. do now I'll just sort of work on the aesthetics um, ultimately <laughs> like I mean however you want to make your building if you want to make it at all is fine and dandy just by however you want to do it but like I said I'll make up the building and then I'll sort of build a corral for the sheep to go into because I think that will be the next step and also the hardest step uh, getting the sheep breeding them um, and then trying to get them into the um, into these little things here, which will be all cut off at that point. At that point, so um, we'll jump cut a couple of times, and uh, we'll just sort of show you the work that I'm doing just to build everything. Uh, but once we get back, uh, we should get some sheep, have them breed, uh, and then we'll see if we can get some of them into our or various. So, be right back. So looks like everything's ready to go. Um, the mechanics are in place, so that's ready to go. The aesthetics are in place, so everything will look nice once everything's there. Uh, two particular problems. I'll be having to get some sheep, so that's not really a problem. I just can lure them or lead them. That's fine. Uh, and then once they start breeding, I'll have to lure them into the machine. And that's what these trap doors are for. So. I'm hoping that once I get some uh, sheep going, we can start crawling them in here. Uh, I also don't have any brown dye, so that's what this dirt block is in here for. Um, I haven't found a jungle binome yet, so I don't have my hands on any cocoa beans this in this world. Uh, that's what you use to make brown dye. Uh, otherwise, most of the other stuff is sort of done from flowers, more or less, except for the blacks, which is uh, the squid ink sacs. Uh, so one problem at a time, we'll get ourselves some sheep, we'll start them breeding, because we need 16 of them, 
Uh, once they're in place, we can just dye them whatever color we want to and then go at it from there. But uh, yeah, this will be probably the most time consuming process. So uh, we'll do a couple of jump cuts. We'll check back every once in a while, see how things are going. And then once uh, we're ready to get them in place, uh, we'll do that and turn everything on. Okay, folks, it's been a couple of days, several hours after, uh, I don't know, rounding up those white sheep and sort of getting them corralled, um, went on the big trek to try and find myself a jungle binome to, only, sole purpose, only to get cocoa beans and only needed cocoa beans just to make them the brown dye. But you know what? Nothing doing. <laughs> I could not find a jungle, uh, a jungle area for the life of me. Found like six underwater temples. Those are uh, nice and rare, but nope, no jungles to be had whatsoever. Uh, so I went with Plan B. Uh, found myself a brown sheep, and well, you'll see in a minute. But got the sheep, got them in the contraption, and I have my dyes sort of lined up. So like gray, gray, black, and so on. So, let's head back upstairs. Um, also had a run in, oh, it's gonna get night, and I'd rather not have to do this uh, during the nighttime, because uh, we did have a creeper. Uh, I sort of was refinishing the bottom here, had a creeper come in and blew up half my uh, hard work. So, trying to keep things a little bit more bright down here just to keep them from not spawning. But all the bays have been filled with sheep and all the sheep have been grown up. I uh, don't know if my, if my brown sheep is quite grown up. If he hasn't, no big deal. He'll get there eventually. He'll probably get there before we even start this thing up. But nope, there's all the sheep ready to... Uh, to have their wool colored and cut for my amusement. Or well, for our amusement, really. The only reason why I'm doing this is for you guys. Um, but yeah, it's about to become night, so we'll just do one little jump cut and we'll get back to our machine uh, so we can start dying. The sheep. Not me. Alright, so let's get back up to our machine. So, each one of these squares has a sheep on it. We're going to skip the first one because the sheep is already white. Uh, and we'll start off with the second. So, open up our, our trap door. Uh, 
and we'll just continue this on down just making sure each sheep that I want to dye gets the appropriate color. So brown sheep's already taken care of. Can't really do anything about the glass quite yet, but All right, and now we have one sheep for every color under the rainbow. One last final step will be this iron. All right, and the final step is 16 shears. on that zone. All right, let's head back up here. So we have to fill each of these dispensers with at least one pair of shears. So do that. And while the shears will lose durability and eventually break, um, it should be some time. So I'm not worried about them going away too quickly. And even when they do, we'll have a stockpile of each yarn color uh, before that happens. Uh, so if anything, it may be best that it <laughs> breaks eventually. that'll do it. So let's get rid of this block. We don't need it anymore. Concept is um, the sheep will, and it's already working, so sheep will let, eat the grass that they're sitting on. Um, the observers detect that, command the dispenser to shear because that's what's in them. They'll shear the sheep, but the uh, shears will stay in the dispenser for the next round, uh, and then I'll keep going. So, sheep grows wool, sheep eats grass, sheep gets sheared, sheared, sheep wool goes into our bin underneath. You guys not been eating? All right. And hopefully with all the grass around, the, um, the grass that's in the machine will grow fairly quickly. So we'll give it a couple of minutes. Oh, yep, there we go. So we got some we got some sheep being sheared, that's for sure. Uh, and in some of my earlier footage, you may have seen my dividers for the sheep be double high. Uh, don't do that. I was mistaken with that sort of um, uh, that sort of logic. What I was trying to do was keep the wool from being stuck being off the ground and not being collected. Um, but all it does is when the dispensers trigger, they'll just close the trap door, which is not what we want. What we do want, yep, everything's coming out nicely there. Just have to wait for the other colors to get started, but looking good as far as that's concerned. Just gonna get whatever wool that isn't quite hitting the ground yet. When I was testing it out, it did seem like it would go after the first set or so. But so far, 
Looks like it's working pretty well. Sheep are... Oops. I'm gonna hit the dispenser. And our brown sheep is fully, uh, fully grown again. Uh, I may spend some time off camera in between episodes bulking up my wall. I definitely don't want uh, enemies coming into my uh, my little area here now that we're getting into production. Alright, I let the farm run a little bit and it seems to be working well, all kinks aside. Um, like I said, it's a little bit of a fun project that I wanted to do today. And I wanted to do this fun little project with you guys because I just recently discovered that another Mojang Minecraft mobile game called Minecraft Earth will be unfortunately shutting its doors uh, as of June 30th of this year. So um, what better way to um, sort of go out with a bang than with a bunch of colored sheep. Um, if you haven't played Minecraft Earth, and are interested to do so, um, it's free on the mobile store, so go and pick it up for the limited time that you still have left. Uh, if you log in, you're able to get this sweet hero's costume like I have here, uh, as well as some other goodies that you can probably get for free. As this video is hitting YouTube, um, I'll also be doing a little Minecraft Earth replay be posting that a few days later so check it out if you're able if you enjoyed this project and video hit me up with a like leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for more minecraft goodness this has been shin virtuality game on have fun and i'll catch you guys in the next one Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.